Good afternoon or good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our Epic Index Ranking live webinar. Um, this is pretty exciting. We've never done this before. Typically what happens is an email will go out and um, you're able to download the report. Still gonna happen, but what we're doing today, Melissa and I, we are going to be announcing the top of the top of the top when it comes to Epic Rankings. So my name is Leah Nicole Smith. I am the VP of Education and Performance for Apartment Ratings and Satisfacts. And my co-host today is Melissa DeSico. She is our Director of Client Performance. Hello, everyone. All right, so as attendees are logging in, let's do a quick rundown of what we're gonna talk about today. Um, we are going to be discussing all things EPIC. We are gonna highlight the top 10 communities, also the top five companies in each category. Um, we're gonna talk about who's most improved since January, and that's for both companies and communities. We have two very special updates when it comes to EPIC, some new features that are available in our exchange platform. And Melissa and I, being the education team, for apartment ratings and satisfacts, we're going to be giving you five EPIC tips, so things that your teams can do to improve in their EPIC performance by the time we release the next biannual report in January. So the questions box is always open. Feel free, if you have any questions at all, to chime in in that questions box. Um, we're going to be looking at the questions. If there's something that's immediate we should address, we will talk about it as they pop up. If not, we'll wait to the end and uh, do a little Q&A. So let's jump on in here and get started. So. Melissa, right. why don't you tell everybody what the EPIC Index is? Right, so what is EPIC? Obviously, a lot of you on the call today know it very well, but for those of you that don't, it stands for the Experience and Performance Intelligent Quotient, and it is on your apartment ratings page as a letter grade, and it's really out there to provide a way for renters and also all of you, so industry operators, to determine how well your community or your portfolio of communities is actually meeting or exceeding resident um, you know, expectations, what they're looking for in a community. So we make it super transparent so that everyone knows and understands why a community has a certain grade. So how do we calculate it, right? So how, does, how do we determine who's on this list today? So the ratings are just like from school, from A to F, and the first one, the first component that's made up is 40% of that is from renter ratings. So this is organically those that come to apartment ratings or from your insight surveys. The next one, 30% of your grade is actually the review count. So the number of reviews per unit compared to all other communities. The third one, which compose, comprises of 20% is your response rate. So are you responding to those people who are leaving you reviews on apartment ratings. So the last one, so the very fourth component, what is that? So we're gonna run a quick poll to see if you know what is the last component that makes up your EPIC grade. Yes, so click poll is open, right so on click. your screen. Yeah. So do you think it's the would recommend percentage? the manager's reply time to online reviews, or the average of ratings across all other review sites? We got 30% coming in. Oh, they're flying in quick. We're already at 40%. We're gonna wait till we get to a majority rules kind of thing. We are currently at 55. Click right on your screen, which one you think makes up the fourth component of the overall EPIC index. All right, 67, we got two thirds voting. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I get to 75%. How about that? In there. What do you think it is? There might be some discussions going on. <laughs> All right, we're approaching 75%. I'm gonna do a quick three, two, one countdown. Let's close it out. 
All right. That is wonderful. So you are correct. So the last component is coming in at 10% of your grade is the reply time. So how long on average does it take for the manager to respond to reviews online? So good job. There you go. Sorry, my computer's doing something funky over here with the screen. I apologize, everyone. So why exactly did we create Epic? I mean, you already have your star ratings. You already have your um, would recommend percent. You know, you already have these residents who are giving reviews and completing surveys. So what is so important? Why would we go through the trouble or the effort of creating an EPIC index. Well, the reason why we did that is we have three things that we really truly believe in at Apartment Ratings and Satisfacts. Number one, authenticity matters. Renters are really able to make a better decision in terms of the community that's right for them when they're given unbiased information about those communities. So if we were to um, just go, if someone were to just go by your star rating or just go by your would recommend percent or something like that, they may not get a complete picture of what the resident experience looks like and also how well the teams are performing and their impact that they're having on the resident experience. The number two reason why um, we really believe in Epic is transparency matters. You know, when people are able to see all of the components, like really break down everything that goes into an overall grade, there's no guesswork. It's just, you know, I, it is what it is right there in black and white. I can see how things are going with maintenance. I can see how things are going with, um, you know, the reply time, whether they are even responding to the reviews. And as a renter, given that full picture of what is going on at the community, again, helps them to make better decisions in terms of the apartment home that is right for them. And then the third thing, we see a lot of, you know, awards that are given throughout our industry. We have awards as well. Um, there's a lot of ratings, there's a lot of ranking reports. And in order to really kind of put apples to apples, we need something like Epic. We need to level the playing field, right? Whether you have 20 units at your community or 2,000 units at your community. You wanna be ranked based on the same criteria and components. It's not fair to be number 100 on the list when you are being compared to someone that is not, um, their ranking is not the same criteria. So this is an easy way for you to say, like, without a doubt, our community is number one in the nation. Our company is number one in the nation. And you have a lot of credibility and faith being able to stand behind that because you know that the Epic Index is measuring everyone equally across the board. That is right. So we actually conducted a focus group last week to get thoughts from real renters about Epic. So how did they feel? We know how we feel about it. We know how everyone in our industry feels about it, but how do renters feel about it? So we asked them to rate its helpfulness on a scale of one to five, five being the highest, and it was rated a 4.8 out of five. So here's what they had to say. I love these focus groups so much. <laughs> They give you such good info. So take a listen, everyone. I think this is really useful and I wish it would have been here or I would have known about it whenever I was finding my apartment. Okay, my thoughts is probably a great community, but if you had any problems, such as like what I said with managing the management company, um, they clearly don't reply in time and they don't engage very often, which makes me concerned. And so, I would be quite hesitant, honestly. Like looking at the pictures, I wouldn't know that. But knowing and reading the EPIQ report cards, it gives me that idea, that hesitation that I was talking about. I like how it's this. It's a C plus. I don't like how it's a C plus, but I like how they let me know with their honesty that it's a C plus, and that it takes a prolonged amount of time for the manager to get to me. That could contribute to me 
wanting to be a part of the apartment um, complex or not wanting to be a part of the complex. So letting me know those ratings just off jump. I think that is very vital to someone's process of wanting to get an apartment. So I would say uh, five uh, being the highest because that, that not only, uh, you know, not only are you getting some reviews, uh, but you're also getting the analysis of those reviews and you can determine, you know, their, how, how good a, a manager is based on, you know, their, their response percentage uh, to those uh, reviews. I think it's very helpful. I wish all apartments uh, came with a report card. It would make my life easier. Um, and it's just really nice to not have to kind of guess at what you're going into to have all these different components rated before you even um, schedule a tour. So that's great. Yeah, so again, we can talk about this all day, about how Epic is super important, but so helpful to hear from actual renters. Don't you agree, Melissa? Absolutely. It's nice that we know that we can help them find the community that fits them and what they're looking for specifically. So it's not just, I want all the top five communities, but I want one that has, you know, high ratings and these three things, you know, so it's, it's nice to know that we can help them get to that place. Absolutely. So just in the same way that we love getting feedback from real renters on how helpful the Epic grade can be, we always want feedback from you as well on how to enhance how you view and analyze your data and performance in our exchange platform. So we actually have a couple of updates that we wanted to highlight today. Um, the first of which is the ability to add companies to the competitor analysis tab in exchange. So you all are pretty familiar with the ability to add communities to the competitor analysis. So you can take your market survey, put all of those that you usually use for that into this so you can see your performance up against theirs. But now you can also do that for companies. So if you have a portfolio or if you just want to keep track of companies that are on our list because you want to get to the same ranking as them, you can put them on your competitor analysis page as well and just see how they're performing as it relates to your performance. So um, again, you can put those in there. You can see how they're doing. And again, you can just see how you're progressing compared to them. And then the second update that we have is the trend report. So for those of you that are familiar with our insight surveys, it's the same concept. So you can use the Epic trend report to see your performance month over month, or you can see it quarter over quarter as well. So a good place to see how are you progressing? Where were you at this time? You know, in the first quarter, you know, how, how are the seasonality of leasing? How is that affecting your Epic grade? And what can you do to make sure that that score stays consistently going up. So these are really great enhancements that we've recently added because of your feedback. So if you have any ideas for any enhancements in the future to what you see in exchange or the data, how it's presented, um, we would love to hear from you. So if you have any of those ideas, send those to education at satisfacts.com and you may see those enhancements on a future webinar. Yes, everything we do is based on feedback for sure. So, Melissa, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to start celebrating some top of the top Epic Index rankings. How about you? Yes, please bring it on. Yes, let's do this. Okay, so we are going to start out with the top Epic communities and also the most improved. If you hear your community's name, so if you are an on-site team member and you hear your community's name, click on the hand icon. Everyone has a little raise your hand icon on their dashboard because we are going to open up someone's audio and let you give a little shout out congratulations um, to your team and your company. So again, if you are an on-site team member and we mention your community at any time during this section, feel free if you are the most improved or if you are in the top 10 nationwide, click on that hand icon and we're going to give you a little shout out. All right, so let's Yay. get started. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So the first we're going to go through, so the very first one is the most improved community. So 
this is the first, the one that has improved the most since the beginning of the year. And this community has put in a ton of time and effort and has made a drastic jump on our list. So the most improved is Ocean Oaks Apartments and Pegasus Residential. So this team has, I can't even believe how much they've jumped. So they started January at the ranking number 25,503 and jumped over 22,000 points to number 2,610. So amazing progress in just six months. And we just cannot wait to see where you guys will be at at the end of the year. So congratulations. Man, talk about forward momentum, right? That is <laughs> no crazy. When we, when we saw this report, we were absolutely floored. So congratulations. Uh, when we're looking at the top 10, check this out, everyone. Between 10th place and first place, there is less than one point difference. I mean, these numbers are so close. And again, if we shout out your community and you are at the on-site level, click on your hand icon so we can give you a little bit of love uh, when we finish uh, this ranking, this section of the report. So number 10, Number 10 is Prentice Point from Paragon Properties. I feel like we need some like disco music or something exciting, Leah. So if you want me to sing, just let me know. <laughs> feel free, feel free. Because unfortunately, go to webinar doesn't allow sound effects. So uh, number nine is the Elms at Kingstown. And this is managed by Legend Management Group. Congrats, number nine. <laughs> Number eight is Eagle's Crest at Jack Miller, and this is managed by Freeman Web Company. Nice, congrats. Number seven, we have 5,400 South Apartments in Tulsa, and they are managed by Lonbach Company. Okay, number six is the Elms at Signal Hill Station, managed by Legend Management Group. Yay, and number five, we have Renew Tatnuck Square, managed by Trinity Property Consultants. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> so we're gonna go, so we wanna break it up just a little bit, not for too long, but we thought we would briefly mention some tips to continue to help you rise up the rankings as well, just like all these folks have. So the first tip that we have today is talking up your Epic scores to your prospects. So you should all be really proud of the experience you provide and the effort you guys put forth to make sure that everyone who writes a review is responded to and taken care of if necessary. So you really should be telling people about it. It's amazing. So, you know, just an example here, you know, ask prospects if they've checked out apartmentratings.com and just let them know if you're looking at other communities, it offers a great rating scale to help you compare communities to determine which community suits you best personally. So. You know, you can say we're really proud of ours because you've worked really hard for that. So just a quick tip, but so we will move onward to our rankings. And number four comes in for the Elms at Arcola. And this is managed by Legend Management Group. All also, right. I love that yellow chair. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, all of these photos are fantastic. And they're all posted on the apartments uh, our apartmentratings.com website. So fantastic. We have number three, we have Katie Manor with WRH Realty. And again, if we're shouting out your community, click on that hand icon. I need some hands. I need some hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number two is Abigail Court. This is WRH Realty Services as well. And then we have first place going to drumroll. Drum roll. First place is Vista View Apartments in uh, Frederick, Maryland, and they are managed by Ross Management Services. And check this out, everyone. Similar to how our most improved blew us away, look at what this community's epic report card looks like. It honestly does not get much better than that, which is why we are seeing this at this community at number one. So fantastic. Congratulations. Woo! Yes. Congratulations yeah. to all of the apartment communities and management teams. If uh, your communities are not on the call, please 
give them our kudos. They did a fantastic job and things are looking really good for the top 10. So where we are right now, before we turn our attention to the companies, and we're gonna be doing the top five companies in just a bit, here's our second epic tip. Remember, we were saying, uh, we're gonna give you five epic tips. So tip number two is when you ask for a review, it's always helpful if you lead your renter, your resident um, in a certain direction. So ask them to talk about their expertise, whether, you know, hey, you've been here for five years, who better to give um, other people who are considering our community a heads up as to what life is like here at the community. You can also ask them, as we're seeing in this screenshot for a review from Elms at Kingstown, who was in our top 10, um, asking them to review something specific, like an event. Uh, maybe that will encourage other residents to come out. So your long-term residents are a great source of expertise to talk about their experience and their stories at the community. Those who are active at your community and engaged, whether that's your events or, you know, they're, um, you know, just you always see them, they're always interacting with the office or the maintenance team, you know, asking them to um, participate and write a review uh, on the apartmentratings.com website can definitely help with your EPIC. Remember, 40% of your EPIC index is coming from your renter ratings, and that is every single star that is given to you by either your residents in their reviews or prospects in their reviews or those who are taking your insight surveys. Great tip. All right, so it is time for companies. So we have broken these down into three different categories. So the first of which is community or companies that have one to nine communities. So we will announce not only, you know, the your epic rankings, but also the most improved as we did before for companies. So if you, again, I think we have some shy folks on the phone. So if you hear your company's name, we'd love for you to raise your hand. Uh, we want to give you a shout out. We want to hear from you too. We're excited and I know your excitement is there too. Hopefully you guys are cheering uh, behind your desks as well, um, but we'd love to hear from you. So please don't be shy. Click the little hand icon and let us know you're excited too. All right, so most improved company with one to nine communities. We have Corman Residential Properties out of Bluebell, Pennsylvania. And Corman, if you're on the call, click on that hand icon uh, because things are looking really good for Corman. If you look at where Corman was in January of this year, um, 326 and moved all the way up to 21st, looking very good. Absolutely, all right. So time for the top five management companies. And as Leah mentioned earlier, you guys, these folks were also only separated by, it's less than two points. So again, really high scores, amazing competition within our top five companies from one to nine communities. It's pretty amazing. So we will start with number five, and that is the Britneys out of Rochester, Minnesota. So congratulations. Congrats. Yeah, and all of these community, or excuse me, all of these companies have an A plus epic rating. Uh, number four, we have Hagen Properties out of Louisville, Kentucky. Congratulations on your fourth place. Number three is Otis Warren out of Baltimore, Maryland. Nice. And number two, we have Rahuba. Uh, the Rahuba Group is out of Maryland, Elksburg. Uh, did I say that right? Eldersburg, sorry, Eldersburg, Maryland. And first place, another drum roll. Melissa, give us the sound effects. <laughs> another first place it is the Regency Windsor Companies out of Vero Beach, Florida. So, congratulations to all top five, including our Regency Windsor. Excuse me. Again, yeah, and if you are a part of this company, click on your hand icon, any of the companies that we just shout out, click Ooh, on your hand icon go. so that we can <laughs> recognize you. You can put it in the questions box too. We had someone from Washuba say, way to go, so yay. <laughs> yay, congrats. Okay, we have Corman. 
Um, James, we're going to go ahead and uh, open up your audio. Let's see if we can unmute you over here. Oh, James is muted. Oh, I guess he's self-muted. James, if you like to open up your audio, feel free. We'd love to hear from you. I think he's just raising his hand out of pride. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it for sure. <laughs> we'll call those the virtual spirit fingers. That's what we'll call that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I like it. I like it yeah. a lot. <laughs> All right. So epic tip number three. Um, those review responses, not only do we want to see reviews responded to, right? That's 20% of your epic, but um, you wanna make sure that those responses are very custom. Um, there's a great survey by a company called Bright Local. They do this survey every single year where they study online review preferences and behaviors. And what they found in their most recent study was 92% of people read reviews. I don't think, or read responses. That's a pretty big number, right? But 70% say that they have a negative response or a negative reaction to businesses that use templated responses. It may be the quick fix, the easy way to go. You know, you're just kind of copy paste, be done with it. But those who are reading reviews and considering your community, what we have found um, is that they feel like how you respond gives off a perception of how you treat residents in person. So if you just kind of dial it in and do a copy paste kind of job, they feel like that's kind of the treatment that happens with um, residents on site. And we know for a fact that is not the case. We know your teams are dedicated. We know your teams are very caring of residents. So you don't want to sabotage that by having that copy and paste kind of um, strategy when you're looking at responding to the reviews. So that's our epic tip number three. And now it's time for us to talk about the next set of top rated communities. And these are the, the companies, excuse me, companies that have 10 to 24 communities in their portfolio. So we're gonna do the top five. And again, hopefully we'll get a little lucky on this one and we'll actually get someone who wants to raise their hand and give a little shout out to their teams. Um, again, you can click on that hand icon if we mention your company name. All right, so we will start with the most improved company from 10 to 24 communities in their portfolio. And the winner is Premier Property Management out of Fenton, Michigan. So this group, they jumped over 120 spots to claim number 90 and break into the top 100. So pretty impressive. Again, this is only six months of work, so anyone can make that kind of jump as well. So we hope that if if you see your score and you want to be a little bit higher, this gives you some, some inspiration to get there because this team has worked really, really hard and improved significantly in six months. So congratulations to Premier Property Management. Yeah, and I apologize, everyone. I just noticed I have a little typo on here. It should be January 2021. I apologize. But yes, yeah. that is the jump in just six months. So when we do our top five countdown of the management companies in this group, check out the spread. It's a little bit of a larger spread, but still it's less than three points that are separating the fifth company from the first company. Competition is getting really tight when it comes to these um, epic grades because not only are the individual communities doing the work, but the, they roll up to the entire portfolio. And when the communities are doing well, the company as a whole reaps the benefits. So number five, we have Paragon Properties. Welcome Paragon and congrats on number five in your category. All right, number four is Oaks Properties. Congratulations. And number three, we have Hankin Group. Congrats to Hankin. Number two is Linebuck Company. So congratulations to you all. Which yeah, and I think up. they had a community, right? They had a community yeah. in the top 10. 
yes, yes. Yes, so congratulations. And number one, Melissa, we need another drum roll for you. Drum roll for number one. Number one is Legend Management Group, and they are out of Herndon, Virginia. Um, Legend, I will say, they were number one, I think, in January, too. So, And they also have some communities in the top 10. So congratulations, everyone, in this 10 to 24 group. And I think we might even have some more shout outs. Yeah, we have some more shout outs. Oh, we have, let's see, let's see. I'm going to back yeah. up because yeah. Karen, let's see. Karen with Regency. Karen, I'm going to open up your audio because, yes, you guys were fantastic on the list in your group. And let me find you. I apologize. There's a lot of people on this call. Karen <laughs> chimed in, so I want to give her a little bit of opportunity to shout out. Hey, Karen, are you there? You just need to unmute yourself. I'm here. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I just want to give a shout out to all of our properties that made us number one. We are so, so honored. Absolutely. And you all are doing a fantastic job. Your surveys are looking really great. Um, the teams are really doing a good job in responding and just digging into that resident satisfaction. So well deserved. Great. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to call on an involuntary volunteer, and she's probably going to kill me when, when this is over with. But Karen Truman, I am coming for you. Karen Truman is with Legend Management. I'm going to go ahead and get to her. Here we go. Hey, Karen. Hey, Leah. <laughs> How did I know you were going to do that to me? Of course. <laughs> Well, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the teams at Legend Management Group and the leadership team because they're absolutely legendary and it just goes to show with all of our EPIC scores and, and our annual Satisfact scores as well. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are, everyone who is on this list, whether you are most improved in the top 10, top five, you're putting in the work, you're being very dedicated. So this session really is to recognize all of those that are doing a fantastic job with uh, their residents and the resident experience. So thanks, Karen. You got it. All right. I think I might have one more hand is up. Yes, we have one more hand. I have Lisa, Lisa Tosh. Will you unmute and give us a little shout out? Let me see if she can, I'm not sure. I think maybe unable to unmute, all good. Congratulations, Lisa. <laughs> all right, let's move on. All right. I think we are at tip number four. Is that right? Yes, I'm going to unfreeze my screen. There we go. Okay, so there we go. All right, so tip number four for today. So incentivized reviews have been a super hot topic lately. <clears throat> so to clear the air, if there's any incentive of any kind, even a drawing, which I know that you know was kind of a gray area, but even if it's a drawing, it needs to be disclosed in the body of the review or the company or the community, when you respond to that review, you need to acknowledge it in your response to that review. Um, otherwise, it could be considered deceptive um, in terms of in, you know, a violation of the FTC policies and guidelines. And again, it's, it's super innocent. I know you're not doing it to try to get inflated reviews or anything like that, but according to the FTC, we do have to make sure that we're disclosing that information, um, that we were incentivizing them in some way. So just a reminder, if you are going to do it, make sure that you make sure it's somewhere out there in that review, either in the review itself or the response. Yeah, the tough thing with that is that the FTC expects the reviewer to say it. So they expect the right. resident to say, I am writing this review to 
be in a drawing for a gift card or to earn uh, 2000 reward points, things like that. Residents don't really know to do that. So what happens is the onus falls on the company. The company has to make that disclosure in the response. So let's say someone is looking for your looking at your community and they decide to read the reviews and then they see a review that says oh thank you so much for participating in our raffle um it almost kind of negates the credibility of the review it makes it kind of suspect so we just recommend that you seek out those residents that are very happy with your follow-up calls or with your surveys or just day-to-day -day interactions and when you find that your residents are really happy or you know they're engaged with the community like i said those are the ones that you know you can easily reach out to ask them to write a review. Um, we have a recording available of the webinar that we did with the FTC. You can email us at education at satisfacts.com and we can get you the link to the recording. But there was such good information. It was an attorney, uh, Robin Rock from the FTC that gave just so much good ideas, best practices, insight uh, into how the FTC views incentivized and deceptive reviews. So there's, again, if you miss that webinar, the information is still very relevant, very current. If you email us, we will make sure you get the link so that you can watch the recording and also share the recording with uh, your teams. All right, back to the rankings. Yes. <laughs> so now it's time for companies with more than 25 communities in their portfolio. So this is your last chance to show us your spirit fingers. <laughs> so make sure you <laughs> click on that hand and let us know that you are as excited as we are to be here and to be nominated and not nominated. That's we're not a beauty contest. So <laughs> to be in our rankings. So we want to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, acknowledge. Um, and also, um, if there are any questions about Epic or the things that are going on, what we're doing, reviews in general, feel free to use that questions box as we're going through the information. Along with that, raise your hand to shout out um, your company. So the most improved company since January is Rose Associates. They are out of New York, New York, and Rose Associates, check out this progression in their scores. They went up 148 spots from 200 to number 52. So not only did they break into the top 100, they are they blew that number away. So fantastic. Congratulations to Rose Associates. Absolutely. Congratulations. All right. So the top five management companies, again, as we've seen throughout all of the top management companies, these scores are super tight. So again, separated by less than two points for all of these top five. So, and again, they all had that A ranking. So coming in at number five is ECI Group out of Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, Atlanta, my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, we have Bonaventure out of Alexandria, Virginia. Congrats, Bonaventure. Fantastic epic uh, index. Number three is WRH out of St. Petersburg, Florida. We will take that all day. And number two, Van Meter Companies out of Fairfax, Virginia. And first place, we need another drum roll. Goes to. Burger Rental Communities out of Wayne, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. And I do have, we have some hands that have popped up. Let's see who we have. Ooh, we have the number one in the, yeah. on our ranking. Hey, Anne-Marie, are you there? I'm here, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, well, we are super excited. Uh, it's such a great honor. And uh, let me tell you, it's all about our amazing and dedicated team members. They really take to heart, um, you know, one of our core fundamentals that we're intensely customer focused. So I am, again, so proud and uh, woohoo, Burger Bunch. <laughs> nice. And everyone, all of you who are on the call, I will say this. the. People that we're 
opening the audio for the ones that were shouting out they have no had no idea Anne Marie would you um co-sign on that you had no idea you're going to be number one I had no idea so great best kept secret <laughs> nice especially from people who can't keep secrets so we're so transparent we can't help ourselves <laughs> <laughs> we did pretty good this time around. All right, I think we have another hand up. Let's see. Sorry, everyone, there's so many people on the call. I want to make sure I get to. Oh, here we go. We have Destiny. Hey, Destiny, are you there? You might have to unmute yourself if you want to give a little shout out. Okay, I think Destiny might be shy. <laughs> it's okay. Not everyone's, uh, you know, jumping on the stage. We totally get it. But congratulations, everyone who is in the top five for this um, category. I think this is amazing. All of you that are being recognized and named today, um, Fantastic, fantastic job. And there's even more to come. There's even more because we have the entire list and I'll show you where you can go and how you can download the list in just a bit. So our epic tip number five, if your community or your company was not mentioned today, or if you like to move up in the rankings, you just want to learn how you can um, improve on your epic index, which in turn will improve your residents' experience, um, you can get with us. We're scheduling 15 minute little mini sessions where we will look over your Epic report card for your company. Now this is one session per company, but we will look over your company's Epic index, offer you our best practices, ways that you can improve, looking at different things that can be done so that by January, you're, you might be one of the most improved or you might even be recognized in our top of the top kind of list. All right, and while we couldn't see you today, <laughs> we'd love to see you and celebrate virtually with everyone on social media. So you can actually share a real picture of your spirit fingers if you're interested in doing so <laughs> on social media and let them know how epic you are. So. Put on social, if you if you have the chance, take a picture of your team celebrating your, your ranking today. You can put pictures up, or as you can see on the screen, we have some others that have just put up their, their scores and that they're excited and proud to be in the top. So if you want, celebrate with us on social. We can't wait to see all of your spirit fingers and smiling faces. So you can tag us at, at Satisfax Education. Or, and or you can actually use the hashtag on the screen, which is how epic are you? So we can't wait to see you all celebrating your rankings. Absolutely. And I just put in the chat box um, the link to go directly to our page on our website that has the download available for the full report. So we just kind of gave you some bullet points here in terms of the Epic Index. We highlighted the top five companies and communities, but you can get the entire report. If you click on the little chat box, um, the link is right there. You click on that, go straight to our page and download that report and get all of the good information. Um, I think we might have some questions. Let me look and see if we have some questions pop up. Oh, no questions, just, there we go. Just some comments about their teams and woohoos and all that kind of good kudos and whatnot. So again, if you'd like to improve on your company's Epic Index, feel free to email us education at satisfacts.com. We are scheduling 15 minute little mini sessions for your company so that we can review your Epic report card, offer up our tips, our best practices as well. And as Melissa said, we love to see people celebrating their successes. So feel free to go social, go big and Use our hashtag, how epic are you, so that we can see how your teams are celebrating. So to all who are making, um, who are on the full report, congratulations for a job well done. We don't give you these um, 
kudos, your residents do. So congrats to all of you. And if um, you guys have any questions for us going forward, you know where to reach us, education at satisfacts.com. So Melissa, want to do one final goodbye to everybody? <laughs> yes, thank you all. Thank you for taking care of your residents and for companies for taking care of your people. We love to see it. And congratulations to all of the winners today on their epic ranking. Congrats, everybody. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.